so you can have it stored like this when you go to use it just leave everything connected pop it open If you picked up a recent MacBook or other laptop that is desperately in need of ports, I'm sure you've invested in something like this. As you can see right here, I have a USB-C hub that plugs right into the side of the laptop and gives you access to all these extra ports that you're missing. The good thing about this, it's small, compact, easy to carry around. Bad thing is this isn't powered. It works great with things like printers, keyboards, and mice. But if you try to use something like a fast SSD, guess what? It's gonna be extremely slow because there's not much you can do with it. So in that case, you probably throw that away and you're gonna wanna invest in a powered hub. And powered hubs are great, but you know, they also take up space. So right here, I actually have something that I kind of already have right here as you can see nice aluminum stand to hold up my macbook just like so keeps it out of the way and also looks pretty nice so the cool thing about this right here is we're combining that stand with a hub that is powered you know we got everything there we're actually killing 13 birds with two stones so right here inside this box that looks like it's taken a beating we have the 13 in 2 type c dual monitor laptop docking station and vertical stand all in one and it's powered now a little bit of a disclaimer here now a little bit of a disclaimer here if you have an m1 macbook you know a standard m1 not the m1 pro or the m1 max this will only support a single display out because i guess it's a limitation of the m1 chip but if you have a different laptop you can actually use two displays coming out through hdmi ports so that's very handy but just keep that in mind we have a working indicator light a three and a half millimeter audio headphone jack four usb 3.0 ports at five gigabits per second with five volts at 0.9 amps at 4.5 watts we have a usb c gen 1 for data transfer up to five gigabits per second two usb 2.0 ports for wireless receivers sd and micro sd card slots VGA port for 1080p at 60 hertz, HDMI 1 at 4K 60 hertz, HDMI 2 at 4K 30 hertz, and 4K 60 hertz if you're using DisplayPort 1.4, two USB-C ports to connect to the host, an RJ45 Ethernet port with gigabit speeds, as well as a power delivery 3.0 port that supports 100 watts of power input and 87 watts of power output to charge your laptop. So as you can see on paper, this sounds great doesn't it? So let's get inside and see if it actually is as great as it sounds. That's not a good sign. Inside the box we have a 24 month warranty. 24 month warranty. <laughs> is that all this is? Oh, also the instructions. Okay, cool. Ooh, a gold plated USB-C to USB-C cable. I've never actually seen one of these, but we have a gold plated dual USB-C to dual USB-C cable. This is going to connect from the hub to your laptop. And then we have the actual the actual hub stand. Ooh, this actually looks pretty nice. So putting it side by side with the stand I already have, as you can see, this one's actually narrower and it's taking up less space. They're actually similar in weight. This one's a little bit heavier, of course. The one with the hub is also a little bit taller. No problem there. And then we get to the fun part. Right here, we have two USB 3.0 ports, a USB-C port, a micro and a full-size SD card slot, a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, an LED indicator light so you know that power is running through it. Then over on this side, things get even crazier. Over here, we have the dual USB-C slots that's gonna plug from your laptop into here so it can get all the power of your Thunderbolt ports. Right here, we have the USB-C port for power from the wall to power this thing and charge up your laptop. We have the gigabit ethernet port, two USB 2.0 ports, two HDMI outputs, as well as a VGA output. Now, what I really like about it is every port is actually labeled so you know which ones are USB 3.0, which ones are USB 2.0, which ones are for the host, which ones for charging, yada, yada, yada. Down on the bottom, we do have two rubberized feet, which, you know, solid grip more grip than this one definitely so let's actually get this set up we'll get our double pronged usb-c cable here which is really cool we're gonna get it plugged into the hub plug it into the laptop and as you can hear we're connected to power very nice as you can see prop this up just like so very secure i mean it's secure as long as you don't bump into it it could get knocked over because it isn't as wide as this one so i'm seeing that as a little bit of a disadvantage because with this one it's in here it's a lot harder to knock over because it is a bit wider. So in here it is narrower, so you gotta be a little bit more careful. But the cool thing about this is if you have this attached to an external monitor, you can just have it propped up in here with all of your ports. You effectively created yourself a desktop experience and then have your monitor right here with your keyboard and your other peripherals and skip to work on your big screen. Very cool. And of course, this also just works for storage. So you can have it stored like this. When you go to use it, just leave everything connected, pop it open. 
get to work. You can put in your SD cards, plug in your peripherals, and you're good to go right on your laptop. Awesome. Now the one bad thing I am seeing about this so far is you effectively only have one USB-C port once you have this connected. That is a bit of a downer if you have a bunch of USB-C peripherals, because if you're plugging in an external SSD into the USB-C slot, you can't plug anything else in. You're going to have to focus on USB-A only. I would like to see some extra USB-C ports, but I'm guessing they did that because it's a limitation. So I've had my fair share of annoyances with using external SSDs plugged into a hub that wasn't powered. So let's actually put, we'll plug in our SSD into the hub. It popped up on our laptop, and now I'm gonna transfer a three gigabyte file, and it should be rather quick. There we go, it says about five seconds remaining. It's doing it at about 500 megabytes a second, and it is completed, very nice. Okay, it's actually working very well. I'm liking that. Let me copy something off of the hard drive. Okay, so we have a 10 gigabyte file here, less than a minute. We're going at about 200 megabytes a second this time. Still pretty quick, but not as quick as it could be. All right, so transferring the file directly connected to the SSD to the MacBook, it is a little bit faster. You're probably not gonna notice too much of a difference in real use cases. Now, with that being said, this is definitely gonna be my new stand because we have a powered hub along with an amazing stand to prop up your laptop when you're not using it or when you have it attached to an external display to keep everything out of the way. Next, I'm actually gonna take a full-size SD card, shove it inside, I guess we have to do it upside down just like every other hub for some reason, and I'm gonna transfer a file from the SD card to the SSD and see how well it can handle that. All right, so I have a two gigabyte file here on the SD card, let's drag and drop, and I mean, this one's going pretty slow. About two minutes for a two gigabyte file. It's going at about 20 megabytes a second. So with that being said, this is definitely gonna be my new stand as well as my new hub because it's all in one. It's very convenient, stays out of the way, and it's working as advertised. No issues other than it being a little bit easier to knock over compared to my old stand, but you know, I can live with that because I never walk into it anyway, so who cares? So if you happen to be in the same situation as me, let me know if you're gonna pick up one of these to solve all your problems at the same time. 15 and 2. What are you gonna do?